cool. So I'm getting all these units, right? But again, I can tap up T if I ever want to just check. If I see red blobs on here, I know I'm being attacked. Um, so our queue is almost completed, um, which is excellent. I'm actually going to go ahead and build some more because my resources are doing well. So maybe we'll do 10 more uh, fighters and 10 more bombers. Uh, I also want to go ahead and build more engineers because right now I only have two. I can tell that either by looking here or over here is your cheat sheet. The green boxes are your non-fighting units. The orange boxes are your military to help you navigate quickly. Because if, let's say, um, I'm on the screen, like, over here, right, and I'm like, ah, I need to grab a certain type of unit really fast, and instead of going here and trying to, you know, scroll around and try to find it, you know, use your uh, little cheat bar over here. So after you play this a while, you start to memorize what the little icons mean. Um, I know when you're new, it's a little overwhelming because you're like, what the hell is that? But <clears throat> here's my uh, engineer's drones. So I have two. I can easily um, click that and it'll select them and I can do action. Or if I right click it, it'll bring me to their location. Um, and if I have multiple, I can just right click over and over to scroll through um, all my engineers. So let's go ahead and build more engineers real quick. Uh, to get to the build screen, instead of clicking this, uh, just click the B key. It's much, much faster and you will do use that all the time. Here are my engineers and I'm going to press control plus left click to produce five at a time, much faster. And then I want those five to actually, when they're finished being built, um, I want them to aid my star dock, my space dock over here and also obviously my starship. So whichever one is building, I want those five to work on make it build faster. These two, um, I can really, actually, I want to automate these by holding the V key and right-clicking. All right, if you do that, you'll notice that these get a pink circle as opposed to these are not. Uh, what that means is these guys will heal any damaged units automatically. They will also fly around and build things that are in the build queue. Um, it just makes managing this planet screen much easier if you have some engineers on the automated mode. I don't like all my engineers on automated mode because, um, you know, like I said, I want these guys to work only on building ships. Or if I build structures over here, then they'll help build the structures there too. All right, so here I have my force. I already have 55 units right off the bat, which is great. Um, but, you know, again, I have these four wormholes that are spread all about. And especially this one is really close to my, uh, my command station right here. So that worries me. So I obviously I want my units to, if enemies come here, I want them to be kind of close. Um, now to automat automate their defense, uh, again, I would use the V key, and I'm going to right click, but let's say I'm probably going to put them right here uh, to try to intercept any red units that come in and go to my command center. So, yeah, so this is where we're going to put them. So I'm just going to press V and right click. Um, and they will fly over there. Use the T screen to kind of watch the action. Um, with my little green blobs. But here we go. So now these guys are in pink and that means anytime red units come into my planet they are going to go after them. I don't have to worry about micromanaging that that part of the defense. Cool. So I would actually like to get another group maybe down here. Um, because these guys are pretty far from these two wormholes. So let's go ahead and make another conglomerate of units. Um, these numbers at the bottom of our unit shows you your limit um, for that type of unit. And uh, what that means is after you hit that limit, you can no longer train that type of unit until they are killed. And then obviously you can train more as they're killed. But uh, what it means is you just need to make sure to research the next level and then, you know, build these and the next level, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, yeah, just keep an eye on that number down there. But, you know, right now we're doing fine. So let's do maybe um, 20 of each type. And then I'll send those to the south to protect that side down here to protect that map. All right. So there we go. They're training quickly. I have a bunch of engineers. So obviously, you know, my... My space dock is shooting those units out, which is awesome. Cool, cool. So now we have all of our units for defense. Um, I 
actually want to build two more science labs to increase my science production or my knowledge production. So I hit B and now let's see, here we go. Science lab level one. So let's just hold down the shift key. Allows me to build two of them. And then I can right click to get rid of it. So shift key while building allows you to build multiple structures together. So now I have three science labs almost and you'll see my knowledge production increases drastically. So now I'm at plus six per second. Um, and I actually would like to go ahead and get a, a Mark II fighter and maybe even Mark II bombers because I'm going to run out quickly. So over here, here's my, again, this is laid out exactly like your dock, which makes it easy. So, it's, you know, you have your scouts, fighters, bombers, frigates. When you go to your science lab, it's the same thing. You have your scouts, fighters, mar um, bombers, frigates. So let's just get the level 2 fighter, and then let's get the level 2 bomber. That uses up some of our knowledge, but that's okay. So now those unlock immediately. You don't have a time frame for research, which is kind of cool. So now that increases my limit of the units, which is great. Um, okay, great. So now we have another huge 60 unit fleet, and we are going to send those guys kind of down here in the middle. Again, I'm going to hold V and right click, and that will automate their defense down on that end of the screen. Now, that doesn't mean they're not going to come up here. Of course, they're going to come up here, and these guys may come down there, but at least they're closer to attacks there. Now, notice how these ships have separated when they move. Uh, when you're on the offense, that's uh, really bad uh, because these ships are going to get attacked first and they may die. Um, these are mostly your bombers, which move much quicker uh, than your frigates, which are these. Your frigates are slow. So that's a really bad strategy to have them separate. So what you do to prevent that from happening, I'm going to show you real quick once my frigates get down here, is um, instead of just right-clicking or V-right-clicking, um, let's say I want to move them up here. I will use the G key, as in Greg, G and right click, and that enforces them to be a group. And now look, they move in a nice, tidy togetherness, so the bombers slow down to stay with the frigates until they get to their destination, which is really nice. Um, and that way, your weaker units don't get killed off before the rest of the units arrive. And there you go. Nice group movement. Now let's move them back down here. One other um, right-click combination you have is the X key plus the G key. X is like on other RTSs you would use A and right-click. It's kind of like attack move. X is your attack move. So if you use X plus G, then they'll be in attack mode, but they'll also move as a group. So instead of just using X, I think it's a good habit to just, I always use XG. It just, it doesn't hurt, and they move together and they're also in offensive mode. So there you go. So that's moving your units. Pretty easy. Next thing we have to do is um, build turrets. Um, just a couple because we don't... Well, our resources are getting better, so we're okay. So let's go ahead and quickly defend each of these wormholes. Um, so uh, I like putting the... Uh, here's the turret. Just go to the turret tab. This is defense, right? You'll learn all these turrets. They're pretty basic and you'll build a little bit of each kind on every planet. Um, this one on the far right is called the tractor beam turret. This is a great thing. It has like a freeze ray. So when uh, enemies come to your planet through uh, something that's in its range, uh, it will put a beam on them and they can't move. So then your turrets can just, you know, hammer them with fire uh, and they're kind of stuck sitting there, which is really a great defensive strategy, obviously. So, um, you know, put it close to the wormhole, obviously, because the ships will, the enemy ships will come out of there, and then it'll just freeze them so they can't go anywhere else on your planet screen. Um, so, kind of put it, you know, you don't want to put it, like, right next door, but in a good location, kind of. So maybe uh, we'll put it here. Uh, and you saw that gray circle, that's its range, obviously. To view its range, you can also click uh, the Z key. When you're on a unit or a structure, hold the Z down, and again, it'll show the circle for you. So that's the Z key. All right, now, uh, so I have the freezer. The next thing I want to do is maybe throw some basic turrets. That's this first icon. Those are the simple, cheap turrets, but, you know, they're better than nothing. 
Again, I hold the shift key, left click, put two there. So let's go ahead and put the same um, three on every wormhole. That's a very good first step to uh, defense there. Should work, should work well. So there's my freezer, and then let's just add two basics. So go here, my freezer. I know I call it freezer. It's really called a tractor beam, but tractor doesn't really imply freezing. So <laughs> um, and you notice the range of these basic turrets is actually pretty good. If I scroll out even more, you know, that's pretty good coverage for a little turret. Uh, okay, so here we were. And you see how my uh, automated engineers go right to my new structures to make them build faster. Isn't that convenient? Let's go to this one. Again, build my freezer guy. And then build my two basics. <coughs> okay, so I still have plenty of resources. My energy is fine. Um, I would actually probably want to add a couple more turrets. So, the next kind of turret I like is putting a missile turret. Maybe put one of these um, next to each one. And you notice the range on this is massive, which is really awesome. So, we can actually uh, increase our defense by letting it take on multiple wormholes at one time. So, maybe let's put... God, it actually can reach every wormhole. So, let's put maybe three here in the middle. And I'm, again, shift left-clicking. So we'll just put three there. That'll be awesome defense. Again, I can hit the Z key just to make sure I place them correctly. Pretty nice. And then the last one I like is the MLRS turrets. Those are like missile launcher type things. Um, they have an okay range, but let's see. Maybe put that one, put one here in the middle. Uh, let's see if we can get, yeah, we'll have to put two down here. Um, I like to kind of, when I look at the wormholes, typically your enemies are going to try to go for your important structures, kind of like you, up here, your uh, command station, um, or they're going to go after your resources. Uh, but notice here, so this wormhole, you know the guys are going to, the enemies are going to go in this direction, right? So when I place my turrets, I try to incorporate their direction. <clears throat> so this way, if they're going this way, the turret can hit them as long as possible. As opposed to if I put it down here, I mean, those guys will be out of its range in no time. So this is a much better placement of the turret. Protect my resources. See, I'm trying to... See, I have these two resources down here are kind of unprotected, but um, for now I kind of rather protect those two right there. So that's pretty good setups. I got the freeze rays, got a bunch of turrets. Um, now let's continue to build up our military